in regional news. Brazil has reopened its northern border with Venezuela to those fleeing economic and political turmoil there after briefly closing it. The Supreme Court overturned an earlier order to shut the frontier until Brazil could put in place the right conditions to receive the huge influx of people. Authorities in the state of Roraima in Brazil's Amazon region say some 500 Venezuelans cross the border every day. The border was reopened to Venezuelan migrants after a few hours on Monday. And in international news, U.S. President Donald Trump has issued a strong warning to anyone trading with Iran following his re-imposition of sanctions on the country. Anyone doing business with Iran will not be doing business with the United States, the president tweeted. Some reimposed sanctions took effect overnight, and tougher ones relating to oil exports will begin in November. Iran's president said the measures were, quote, psychological warfare, which was aimed to sow division among Iranians. The European Union has also spoken out against the sanctions, vowing to protect firms doing, quote, legitimate business with Iran. The sanctions follow the U.S.'s withdrawal from the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, also known as the Iran nuclear deal, a deal negotiated during the presidency of Barack Obama, which saw Iran limit its controversial nuclear activities in exchange for sanctions relief. And finally, a woman who sold her nine-year-old son to pedophiles on the dark net has been jailed for 12 years and six months by a court in southern Germany. Her partner, the boy's stepfather, was also jailed for 12 years. Five other men have also been prosecuted in connection with the abuse. The couple were found guilty of rape, aggravated sexual assault of children, forced prostitution, and distribution of child pornography. They had sexually abused the boy themselves for at least two years. Channel 2 Headline News, George Gonzalez. Thanks for watching Headline News. Leave a like or a comment below. And for updates on the latest news happening in Guyana, click the subscribe button.